to Confident AF Live, taking your mindset next level to get next year's results today with me, your host, Brandon Foster. Are you a badass peep with big dreams? Ready to turn your unrealistic goals into reality? Confident AF Live is the gateway to enormous new opportunities and unlimited possibilities. The unrealistic can suddenly become realistic for you if you believe it. Are you ready to take your dreams and results to the next level? Then stay tuned as we help crack open the door to new ways of impactful thinking and believing about yourself with mindset practices for badass people like you. Confident AF Live starts right now. What up, badass peeps? Welcome to another incredible episode of Confident AF Live. My name is Brandon Foster. I'm super excited to have you guys all listening. And hopefully you guys are finding me over on YouTube land and subscribing and watching over there as well. Got an action-packed episode for you guys today. We're going to talk about why mindset matters. Like, I really feel like that is like a huge thing that's been put on my heart to share this week. So I'm going to go into a deep dive on that. We're going to riff. We're going to reframe. We are going to rant a little bit today. And it's going to be hugely encouraging for you and for your business. And I can't wait to share with you. Now, I have to wish uh, Colton, who's one of my amazing producers, uh, we all need to send Colton love because he tore his Achilles heel and he is resting. And today I have the incredible Sierra, who is actually, uh, if you guys haven't seen them yet, you'll see them soon. These really are awesome short little reels. She created the template for that. So um, <clears throat> much love to my producing team today. Now, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go on Instagram and follow me, Brandon R. Foster. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because I do have reels. I have some cool pictures and I have some really awesome inspiration, motivation. And if you want to be part of my incredible badass community who are dedicated to really using these confident AF mindset practices that I talk about every week on this podcast, you want to join Confident AF Mindset Practices Facebook group over on Facebook. All right, with that out of the way, let's go right into why mindset matters. And I don't know of like an easier, simple way to just ease myself into this. So I'm just going to go straight into it and say that as a business owner myself, who has been an entrepreneur for many years now and who has coached literally over hundreds, at this point, almost thousands of entrepreneurs as they grow and scale their own businesses. Originally, it started mostly through with, with travel entrepreneurs and now helping all sorts of different entrepreneurs grow and scale their businesses and coaches and everything else. I realized that uh, mindset is imperative first when you're building your business because mindset helps you to have confidence in yourself to do things you've never done before and go where you've never gone before, which is really what entrepreneurship is all about. Because you have to take radical responsibility for everything in your business and there is nothing like it. But I've also noticed that as I grow into scale my business and as I go into higher level masterminds where people are making millions and millions of dollars, they all say the same thing. And that is mindset matters more than anything else the more you grow your business. Mindset matters more than anything else, the more successful you become. Mindset matters more than anything else, the more team members you have, employees you have, independent contractors you have. It becomes increasingly critical and important the higher level you go. And by the way, sometimes we have people who are in the amazing corporate world, executives, C-suite executives listening on this podcast. And that's for, for them too. Like the higher you go in your corporate career, the more important mindset becomes as well. And so <clears throat> I wanted to give you all today five ways that really showcase why mindset matters more than any practical piece in your business, any day of the week, anytime, no matter if you are working on building your 
business right now from the ground up and you're wanting to hit five figures, whether you're already a six figure, seven figure business owner, or you're scaling to eight or 10 or whatever have you. And you're going to love these because these are so grounded in truth. These are like undeniable. These are undeniable. Like seriously, I cannot be more passionate about this. You guys know I'm a huge advocate and really love Amanda Francis's work because it really helped me with, uh, money and finances and emotional intelligence of money, kind of like, uh, well, Ken Honda also had impact on me too. Um, well, I could just, I could just list several people that had impact on me, but Jen Sincero, uh, and <clears throat> all of that had to do with mindset and emotional intelligence around money. Um, why am I dovetailing into this? I don't know. Apparently you guys, you have to hear this, but what I realize is, oh, this is why is because so much what people read and digest and hear on the news and from so-called gurus is like all the practical pieces around money, which is like, if you are running a deficit, then you need to stop spending so much money and sacrifice, 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 sacrifice. Uh, but they don't talk about the emotional intelligence, which if you don't fix the emotional intelligence and the mindset around money, it really doesn't matter what practical pieces that you do. You're just going to create something different. <laughs> and, and for me, um, mindset has played an integral part and in not only me learning how to scale and grow my businesses and do things that I was scared to do, but also it's made a huge impact on just my financial uh, health as a business owner and just so many other aspects of my life. So let's go into it. Number one, uh, what is best for others? is not always what's best for you or the right time for you. So I've been in many mastermind programs for a lot of different industries. And there is this really interesting herd mentality. And actually, James Clear talks about it in his book, Atomic Habits, which is this idea that if everybody else is doing something a certain way, because as human beings, we want to belong, we will more likely to do what everybody else is doing, even if it's not as good or smart or easy or what we need to be doing. And a scientist actually discovered this. They did this uh, experiment with chimpanzees. And the experiment they did was having a chimpanzee who was able to, is either open up bananas or nuts. I don't remember what it was, but it was opening up something that they were eating and they took a chimpanzees who had a really good, easy system for doing it and transplanted the chimpanzee and another group of chimpanzees where their system was like not as good at all. Like it was backwards. It was harder. It wasn't as good. But the chimpanzee defaulted to what all the other chimpanzees were doing, even though their way was better. Their, their way was easier, uh, um, worked better. And we do that as human beings. And I see this all the time and it drives, honestly, it drives me up the wall. It drives me so crazy because it's like, Hey, you guys, I found this new email system. I found this new CRM. Everybody, you got to do this. This is the best thing ever. And then what happens is like everybody just stops what they're doing. They all go run and use the new shiny object without actually using their brain, their intellect to ask themselves, is this really what is best for my business right now? Is this the best resource or technology that's going to help my business? Because every person's business is different. Even if you're in the same industry, you're going to have a different number of clients. You're going to have a different number of team members. You're going to have a different uh, level of understanding about technology in general. Like there's so many other factors that go into it, but just because everybody else is using it, Hey, let's go use the same CRM, the same email system or whatever it is. And the truth is, is that mindset allows a badass business owner to take a step back and ask themselves very intentionally, do I love what I already have? And if I don't, what pieces of what I have? do I not love that I want to up level and change? And then look at what everybody else is using and asking themselves and really looking at it and saying, okay, so everybody else is recommending this new technological thing, whatever it is, is this actually going to be in best service for 
what my current needs are and what I want to see change in my business. But a lot of people don't do that. And the other piece of technology and why mindset matters is because technology is always changing. And the algorithms for Instagram are always changing. The algorithms for Facebook is always changing. I mean, when TikTok came on the scene, nobody thought much of it. And now you have YouTube shorts, you have reels. So, and, and because those platforms are competing with TikTok, they are getting more reach organically by using short form video content, as opposed to some of the other modes of posting. So if you're focused on technology and algorithms and practical pieces, and you don't have the mindset, what do you do when those things change? Because there's always going to be changing. That's why mindset is more important than anything else, because mindset shapes how you work with all the incredible tools and resources that are in existence in today's day and age. So without mindset, you could be using the wrong platform for you or for your business, and you could really miss an opportunity for growth if you're too scared because you don't have your mindset worked out about, how, about trying something new that hasn't been done before. Uh, like a lot of entrepreneurs are just afraid to be on video and it's like, boo, I love you so much. Do you have to be on video to be successful and market yourself? No, you don't. But you know, that increase like, no, and trust factor. It's a lot easier when you see someone on video, you hear their voice and you see what they look like. It's kind of like using a dating app and they post a picture of their cat. It's like, what good does that do? Right? Like, you don't know who this person is. So I do think there's a lot of truth to to, to that as well. Oh, I, I, that was number two. I went right into number two. So number one is what is best for others might not be what's right for you or the right time. Number two is technology. So the second reason why mindset matters more than anything else is that technology is always changing and industries are always changing. But you know what never changes? Mindset. Mindset principles never change. Mindset principles never change. Energy is energy. Love is love. Fear is fear. Worry is worry. Doubt is doubt. Overwhelm is overwhelm. None of those things ever change. And if you have mindset, which goes into number three, mindset allows you to have systematic practices for overcoming fears, worries, doubts, limitations, everything that you need to conquer and slay your goals in your business. This is why my mastermind program, Born to Slay, I love it so much, is because it's a systematic process. And it's ironic because I'm in, and I've been the mindset expert in other high ticket coaching programs, and I watch the other experts who are talking about Facebook ads, or they're talking about Instagram reels and all those things. And they're constantly having to re-edit, reshoot, re-upload the latest trends for whatever technology requires or dictates so that people can actually follow along. Whereas the stuff that I teach on mindset, it doesn't change because we're talking about human emotions. We're talking about human behavior. We're talking about psychology. We're talking about how the human brain operates. That doesn't change. Now, what I will say is I develop new understandings of it. I new science provides new ways, new perspectives, new learning that can be used to help us with the mindset pieces, but the mindset itself, the work doesn't change, doesn't change. And so having a systematic mindset practice, not only is going to help you always figure out how to overcome fear, worries, and doubts, but it's also going to help you to gain clarity in your business and to make the right decisions in your business. It's going to help you with developing good communication skills in your business and how to interact with other people in your business, develop your teams. I could go on and on 
about having a systematic mindset practice is more important than anything else because of helping you to overcome what every leader has to do. And by the way, right now I'm building on a brand new program and it's about leadership and the emotional intelligence of leadership. And everybody says that leadership is the hardest skill to develop. And the reason why they say that is because we as human beings, our greatest gift is our free will. And so as a leader, what you're doing is you're trying to align the free will of other people to what the will or the mission or the goal or objective is of your organization without them feeling like you're taking away their free will, with them feeling that they belong, with them feeling like they matter and their voice is heard. And if you understand mindset, if you understand emotional intelligence, that becomes more doable. It becomes easier. Um, so again, number three, those who win big are always going to have a systematic process for their mindset, developing, shifting, rearranging their beliefs. Number four, why does mindset matter more than practical? Number four is that one of the dangers of being a business owner or being an entrepreneur or a CCU executive, whatever, <laughs> Whatever you do, one of the dangers of that is you can become attached to a system. You can be attached to people. You can be attached to circumstances. You can be attached to a lot of different things. But people who have a beautiful mindset and a beautiful perspective and a way to shift and rearrange their thoughts and to see the opportunities, they're never attached. What that means is, is if you have someone leave your company or organization, you are okay with it because your mindset is someone better. It's always this or something better. Like it's not that big of a deal. When people lose their jobs, the people who win the most when they shift careers or for people who are shifting from a nine to five job or professional job into their entrepreneurship journey, I can say that right, entrepreneurship journey uh, or becoming a badass business owner, those who have confidence in themselves, they're not attached to that old identity of what their old nine to five was they let go of it quickly they're more successful quicker and they're also not attached to things like technology and programs they're okay with changing technology they're okay with changing programs they're okay with doing something different they're okay with all of that because they have the mindset they have the mindset and it's like it's the what is it is it the buddhist philosophy that attachment destroys, I don't know what it is, but basically the more that your mindset is integrated into your way of being, they are always open to love. You're always open to ease. You're always open to flow and you're always open to unlimited possibilities. You no longer have to be attached to people, things, and circumstances for your success. You're okay. If people come and people go. You're okay with technology comes and technology goes. You're okay with things and circumstances changing because you've already decided no matter what, you're loved, you're adored, your business is loved, your business is adored, you get to be successful, your business gets to be successful, everything is okay. That's why mindset matters than all of those other things. That's number four. Number five, why mindset matters. Number five, the reason why mindset matters is because those that have an amazing mindset also have a deep-rooted faith and co-creation. Now, I don't know if you are faith-based or not. I am. So I like to use the term God. If that takes you out, feel free to use universe. Feel free to use higher source, power, love, whatever. I believe that God knows your heart. And that 
you're so infinitely loved. So I don't like to get caught up in semantics of the words. But what I do want you to know is that when you know that you are co-creating your business with the divine from a place of love to provide immense value to the world in some form or fashion, you are unstoppable and you are free from having to figure everything out on your own. You're free from having to be perfect. You're free from having to know all the solutions to every single challenge or obstacle you face. You're free to do your best and know that your best is enough and God does the rest. And there is something really, really, really beautiful about that freedom, about knowing that you can't screw it up, that you can't make such a big mess or such a big mistake that it's unfixable, that it can't be shifted, it can't be rearranged, because when you realize and have the mindset of co-creation, then of course the solutions are shown. Of course, things that went astray get turned into gold. Of course, things are always getting better. Of course, more money is always available. Resources are always available. Better people are always available. Of course, and of course, and of course, and of course, and of course, because you're loved and adored. Because it's not just you. And because your desires were placed in your heart from the divine. So let's do a quick recap, shall we? Let's see if we were all paying attention on what those what those five are on why mindset matters. Number one, what is best for you? Excuse me, what is best for other people? No, I... <laughs> You guys, it's one of those days. It just is one of those days. What is best for others might not be what's best for you. What is best for others might not be the right time for you. Even if it is the best for you, it might not be the right time. So really taking a step back and asking yourself, is what everybody else doing in alignment with where I want to go, where my business is, and what feels good for me and where I'm at that is going to take me towards the desires that God has placed in my heart. Number two, technology, algorithms, communication is always changing. So what allows you to embrace those changes and decide what is the best technology, communication, ways to use it? Mindset, always. Number three, those who win big have systematic mindset practices. Why? Because you're a human being, boo. You're going to have fears. You're going to have worries. You're going to have doubts. You're going to have anxiety. And I got news for you. What you face on one level, you're going to face on another level. Because that life is just about growth. But when you have a systematic mindset practice, like in my Born to Slay Mastermind program, then you know how to shift, how to rearrange, what to do, what action to take, and you understand what fear is, you understand what worry is, you understand what doubt is, and you can approach it in a whole new way, no matter what level it is. Number four, people with badass mindsets are not attached to people, circumstances, programs, technology, clients. And the beauty of that is, is that their success is never dependent upon those. They get to be successful no matter what clients they have, no matter what employees they have, no matter what technology they have, no matter what resources they have, they get to be successful because they know, because they've decided, because of their mindset. And number five, they embrace co-creation, which gives them immense freedom knowing they don't have to have all the answers. They don't have to know how it's all going to work out perfectly. They just need to know it is. They don't need to know the how. And that it's not all up to you up to them. It's not all on their shoulders that they have a divine being who loves and adores them, who's going to help them every step of the way. I love you guys so much. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at Brandon R. Foster and make sure you join our Facebook group community. 
Confident AF Mindset Practices. Have an incredible rest of your day. Thank you for listening. Make sure you share this with somebody else who needs some encouragement, positivity, and inspiration. I love you. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. You have been listening to Confident AF Live, taking your mindset next level to get next year's results today with host Brandon Foster on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Listen or watch live every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, where I help badasses like you with big dreams learn to take their impact and results next level, turning those unrealistic goals into reality. Confident AF Live is the gateway to enormous new opportunities and unlimited possibilities. For more information, get in touch with me, Brandon, at brandonrfoster.com.